It's the first Friday in February, and it's worth noting that this year, February will have 29 days rather than the more common 28. This occurs when there is a leap year. Every four years, in a leap year, a day is added to the end of February, which is the shortest month, resulting in a leap day. The extra day is a correction measure that aligns the calendar with the Earth's almost year-long orbit around the Sun. Without a leap day, a few hours would disappear each year, disrupting our calendar and seasons. Interesting, right? Well, hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Jamaica Magazine. I'm your host, Adrian Atkinson. Today is all about self-improvement, self-motivation, and self-reflection, all of which will be captured in the pages of our Jamaica Magazine. So, stay with us. We'll soon come back. Good day, I'm Theodore Henry, and this is your JIS News for Friday, February 2, 2024. Jamaicans will go to the polls on Monday, February 26, for the 2024 local government elections. Thursday, February 8 is nomination day for the polls, which will be contested in 228 electoral divisions. Minister of Local Government and Community Development Desmond McKenzie made the announcement yesterday. During the polls, councillors and mayors are elected to develop, manage and maintain infrastructure and public facilities island-wide. Local government elections were last held in 2016 with the Jamaica Labour Party winning control of a majority of the municipal corporations. Since then, the elections, which are constitutionally due every four years, have been postponed on three occasions since November 2020 amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Work is to begin as early as April on one of several major water supply projects coming on stream for communities in Western Hanover. Minister with Responsibility for Water, Senator Matthew Samuda, gave an update on the projects as he toured Western and Eastern Hanover last Wednesday. He explained that the $700 million pipeline to be installed from Rasiz to Negril was close to commencement. We will start work on that pipeline in the coming fiscal year. That will be a two to three year project because it involves tanks, it involves additional pumps, etc. But the piping work will start in a new fiscal year which commences in April. In addition, the community of Kew will benefit from a $20 million project. The 75 horsepower pump that's now serving residents will be upgraded to a 150 horsepower pump. In a sense, this $20 million Jamaican dollar investment will benefit in excess of 4,000 households. We are very happy about that. It obviously will significantly increase the reliability and the capacity of the system to ensure that our citizens in and around this area benefit and get the water that they desperately need and deserve. Billions of dollars in media value have already been generated and is still increasing for the island from the Jamaican premiere of the Bob Marley One Love movie held at Carib 5 on January 23. President of the Jamaica Promotions Corporation, Jampro, Shillette Cox, gave that report as she addressed this week's official launch of the $1 billion Jamaica Screen Development Initiative. Within the first 12 hours of the premiere, based on numbers, that I've seen, the premiere generated over a million pounds in media value in the UK. And in the first 24 hours, 1.9 billion in the US. That's with the first 24 hours. We didn't measure or haven't measured yet what happened after London premiere and the Hollywood premiere hasn't happened yet. 
That's just the tip of the iceberg. Jampro's president says a lot of that is going to translate into people wanting to visit the country and the places where the stories are told. Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport Olivia Grange has hailed the film, which will be open to the public globally on February 14, as a reminder of the power in telling the stories of the Jamaican people. Jamaicans everywhere watch proudly as the premiere unfolded, even now looking forward to its global public opening on February 14. The premiere of Bamali One Love is a testament to the value of investing in the creative sector. Bob Marley, One Love is a biopic of the late reggae legend Robert Nesta Marley and was filmed in part in Jamaica. The Jamaica urban transit company JUTC will be refurbishing 105 buses on a phased basis as part of interventions to boost its fleet and reduce commuter wait time. Those to be repaired include 25 Golden Dragons, 30 articulated units, and 50 Volvo buses. Transport Minister Daryl Vaz says the first 20 Golden Dragon buses will be refurbished between April and December of this year, with the rest to be completed by May 2025. He explains that the cost to refurbish the buses will be about 30 to 40 percent of the value of new units. The highest bus being the Volvo bus at a cost of 300,000 US dollars. The other two buses, the bus types, are $200,000. So if you can get 105 refurbished buses, and by refurbished, I'm talking about refurbished from the factory, from the manufacturer, persons from the factory coming here and redoing both the interior and the exterior and the engine, that, Mr. Speaker, will go a far way as previously announced, government is also in the process of procuring 300 new buses for the JUTC over the next three years. 100 of those are expected to arrive this summer, just before the new school year. And finally, the JUTC has launched a pilot program to test a comprehensive fleet management system that will enable real-time bus control and monitoring. Transport Minister Daryl Vaz made the announcement in Parliament this week. He says the system will offer essential information about the location of vehicles, adherence to the route, upkeep, timetables, fuel usage and driver performance. The objective is to improve the operational efficiency of the system by optimizing resource allocation, thereby enhancing the quality of the service provided even as we seek to increase the number of units available to move the traveling public. Minister Vaz outlined other plans to make the commute easier and safer for passengers. Another feature now being pursued is the development of a user-friendly mobile application to allow commuters to access real-time information about bus routes, estimated arrival times, and any service disruptions. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Theodore Henry. Thanks for watching. Once upon a time in a Caribbean island known for its rich culture and natural beauty lived a group of people who were buried in piles and piles and more piles of paper. Papers spanning back to the start of time. Then came a bright idea, harnessing technology to work smarter and not harder. The government of Jamaica is improving its operations to serve citizens better. Many services are now available online, and there's more to come. The Government of Jamaica, building a better public sector for all. One way to achieve self-improvement is to change the perception we have of ourselves. A positive self-image can considerably improve our lives by boosting our confidence, resilience, and determination to achieve our goals. Every culture 
has a, a, a body of stories and, and, and successive generations of storytellers who represent the memory of, of those people. And so, understanding who we are completely entails releasing any doubts we may have about ourselves. What I would like to know is why are there less light-skinned persons and more black-skinned persons in Jamaica? To understand more of where I'm from and be more conscious, I don't think you can ever be too conscious. Why black people don't some black people don't really like their color. My blackness is more than just what happened in slavery times. It's more than that. We have, we are, we are bringing something in that I believe that we need to tell that story. Dear black girl, here's an extraordinary tale of your history and it begins here. Most black persons would have come to this region through the process of enslavement. And um, so that has shaped a lot of our experiences, our cultural experiences, our physical experiences as well. So we can't deny that. But I think that what really should be noted for Jamaican and Caribbean women is that we've had an experience too of resisting. So resisting enslavement, resisting encroachment on our bodies, these types of things are part of your experience as well. is so often miseducated that we believe we are not contributing unless we have on high heel shoes and stocking and jacket and tie and all of these wonderful things that 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 some some outside force tells us that we that we ought to be i think that in jamaica we can take a lot of things for granted and one of that is our blackness right and so because we take it for granted, we will bleach our skin and we try to look like, you know, the, our European brothers and sisters, but in all aspects, we are supposed to celebrate our blackness. There is a general lack of education that we as black people have about the greatness of our skin, of our skin color. Melanin is so important that it protects us from the sun's harmful UV rays and for the most part, keeps us safe from skin cancer. My blackness is unique. My blackness is strong. My blackness is culture. My blackness is special, unique, and strong. My blackness is phenomenal. My blackness is what makes me beautiful. My blackness has allowed for certain opportunities as well because say in a space they want to show diversity, I would be able to represent there as well. So when we step out and we go to different countries or we are leaving the island, we know within ourselves that we are, you know, bringing something, that we are a brand, right? And so when we go amongst other people, we are not, we are not gonna feel inferior. We're not gonna feel as though we don't contribute to something. We will be able to say, hey, you know, I bring something because I know what my blackness is. Traditionally, Jamaican women have also charted their own course in business, in politics, in um, working the public sphere. I think generally, we have not been very much conforming to what is expected of womanhood for the most part. What is happening now? We are picking up some habits that I don't like. We're taking the foreign stuff. You cannot take somebody else's culture and put it on your kids. A person who doesn't know their culture is lost. God made us so beautiful. God made us so beautiful. And we should embrace what God gave to us. Don't try and change it. This is who I am. It's not a struggle. It's not a challenge. It just is. So to self, don't try to change me. Don't try to lock me up. For my ancestors have said it, and I believe in it. Black girls are exquisitely beautiful in every shade.
keep with island clean. So clean. From the peaks to the beach. So clean. Now that tea up Jamaica, please don't do it. Keep with island clean. So clean. From the peaks to the beach. So clean. Now that tea up Jamaica, please don't do it. No dash no paper, no dash no plastic Dispose your garbage responsibly No know how to recycle, learn it quick And if you drop it, better pick up every piece of it Plastics last forever, don't forget the bits Cause when them touch the street, them end up in at the sea Collect pan the reef where they fish them feed And when you want seafood, I eat your eat. So clean, from the peaks to the beach So clean, now that tea up Jamaica Please don't do it Not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica. Thank you so much for staying with us. So let's talk about self motivation. It is that drive that leads us towards our goals. What goals are you working on to achieve? Could one be to take care of yourself more? COVID has taught us many things, and among those is that the, the dynamics of our environment has shifted somewhat in terms of how people think about their, themselves in their natural space. I mean, one of the greatest manifestations of that is the workplace. Uh, the workplace has changed because of COVID, because Jamaicans, the global citizens, have come to terms with their mortality no so more than any other time in the world. Because COVID, as I said, has been the greatest equalizer known to man during this last hundred years. Everybody was afraid at some point in time that COVID would have gotten us and would have taken us out. And it never really mattered whether we had money or were poor, whether we were in North America or in Jamaica. And as a human instinct would dictate, Many persons are now rethinking how they work, where they work, what time they work, and the concept of self-care and taking care of self, family, community is becoming a lot more relevant. That represents for us an opportunity, particularly because we exist in a pandemic of lifestyle-related ailments. It is how we live that is facilitating our demise to a large extent, the cardiovascular disease, the salts, the sugars, the fats, the tobacco, the alcohol, the lack of rest, the lack of physical activity. We have to get people nudged into greater health-seeking behavior. It cannot just be about cure, it has to be about prevention. Maybe your self-improvement goal is to learn how to prepare your favorite dish. How did we get here? Here's a quick summary. Prepare your goat. You can buy a pound or two. Right here, we have around two pounds ready to cook. Then take your preferred curry and get started. Now combine all the ingredients. Salt, black pepper, pimento seeds, curry powder, scotch bonnet pepper to make it spicy. To add more flavor, add potato, your choice of fresh spice and milk. Then let it simmer. There you have it. You're on the road to becoming your own celebrity chef. Don't forget about the garden salad or Jamaican curry goat served with rice and the gungu peas and of course, or garden salad, enough said. I encourage the deaf children to have deaf pride, to know that they can. You are on the same level as a hearing person. It doesn't, it doesn't matter that you can't hear. 
you have a lot of deaf adults who are successful and you can you can achieve you can get the education that you want you can do anything that you want you can achieve don't feel like you can't because you're deaf I, in believing that nothing is impossible, I have been able to culture a very positive attitude to life. And that positive attitude has worked for me, and I'm confident it will work for others. I would want to say to persons with vision impairment and disabilities that it is critical that they become tooled or retooled with the appropriate technologies that can help to drive the way forward so that they can accomplish their vision and their goals. Children with disabilities, whether you have CP or not, I strongly believe that you have a purpose. My disability has taught me that when it says the sky is the limit, it is. There are times when you're going to fall, but what is to stop you from rising? Whatever your plan is for making life better, just know that you're not on that journey alone. Let's take a look at our next feature, which captures how some students are reflecting on their career paths as they pursue their education. I've always wanted to be a doctor since I can remember, but starting my own business doesn't seem like such a bad idea either. If only I could know more about how to get started, or even better, other options to choose. Hi, I'm Nero Christian, principal of Angels Primary School. Career day is one of the most important days that we get an opportunity to step outside of the classroom, outside of the regular subjects, to show the students what is possible as they look towards the future. 10 years from now, many of these youngsters will be entering the world of work and Career Day shows them some of the options they have to be productive Jamaican citizens. I can be anything I want to be. In addition to the traditional professions, your teachers, your lawyers, your doctors, we now are utilizing the resources in our audiovisual department to show students how they can become bloggers professionally, how they can become programmers through coding, how they can become entrepreneurs where they develop their own ideas and skills as they enter the world of work. So my job um, at heart is that I am a carpenter slash furniture maker and we're going to talk about the tilers, the steel fixers, the masoners, the carpenters, the block clayers and the architects in general and how it is that we promote and encourage nation building within Jamaica. It is important to go with the time and it is important that they use their hands, skills, so that they too can become the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Some of our best career option, and I would look at the builder, because you know, we always need houses to live in. So when you go into building houses, you are doing a great thing for our society. Also, we would look at the doctors because you know persons get sick every day. We look at the nurses. We also look at the teachers, the firemen, the soldiers. They are excellent career choice because you will be serving your nation. As a student, I am filled with lots of possibilities, and I am promised to be anything I set my mind to be. I love career day at my school because I can get to see other careers. And they would walk up to you and say, Miss, when I grow up, I am going to be a doctor. And it warms your heart because you will say in a few years, 
I taught that child at grade two or at grade three. When you see Angel's primary students in the high school, you can bet nine out of 10 times they are your future leaders. We need all Jamaicans to know that child abuse is not just an issue for the government, it's an issue for all Jamaicans. So we need everybody to help us to protect our children. If you know of a child who is being victimized, a child who is abused or neglected, just make that report so we can get that child the help they need. Calling or reporting is easy. All you have to do is remember to call 211. If you are an adult, if you are a child, if you are in church, in your community group, wherever you are, once you are aware there is a child who is in need of care and protection, just be the one and call 211. We've reached the end of our program. Get a recap of everything you saw here and more on our website, gis.gov.jm. But in the meantime, here's something to keep you going. Change begins with the decision you make within yourself. So make a wise one. Until then, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Bye for now. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service the voice of Jamaica.